Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Honorable Greg B, and it's Friday. It's time for Free For All Friday, and we have another one of these 1987 Topps Baseball Fending Boxes. Um, we'll open up a... This is the fifth one. It says right there. I noted it. Uh, we'll open up four of these before. We're still on the lookout for the Barry Bonds rookie card, which we still have not found. Uh, but... A spoiler alert, I guess, but if you missed any of those or any previous Free For All Friday videos, head up there, check them out while you're at it. Head on down at the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, the thumbs up, like the video, hit that share button, share this with everyone in the world. Uh, head on down in the comments and tell me what your favorite card is at 19, say, uh, 1987 uh, Topps um, uh, set is. Is it the Bonds? Maybe it's the Bo Jackson, Mark McGuire, Jose Canseco, someone else. Uh, let me know. Then check out the links in the description for our blog, podcast, other social media, as well as my eBay, where I may, where I should have some stuff up for sale. Uh, so go over and check it out, make some offers, buy some stuff, uh, save me as a seller, share it with other people, all that fun stuff. All right. So yes, we're still on the lookout for a Barry Bonds. We've failed the first few times, um, but uh, hopefully today will be a difference. Uh, I always struggle to get this started, but uh, I think I got it today. Um, all right. Uh, yes, I mean, but we're also looking for, other than Barry Bonds, we're, we're looking for um, Hall of Famers and stars. There's Mark McGuire's, you know, it's not his rookie card, but like it's his first major league baseball card, I guess. Uh, regular set Jose Canseco's first regular set Jose Canseco. Uh, I mean, other guys, but, but uh, what Mike Socia is starting things off. Um, just gonna run through these fairly quickly because you know it's nothing, they're nothing new, but there's Roger Clemens all star game card. Um, I mean, still with the 87 design, still being heavily involved with uh, 2022 as we're as we're finishing up 2022 or have finished up 2022. As we're recording this, 2022 is not over yet, but as it goes up, it should be, I think, probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, you're going to move on to 1988 next year for a lot of things. I don't I don't know if they'll go as far as to put 88 in archives and as like the 35th anniversary and the regular set too. That, that seemed like over a little bit too much for me, too much 87 design this year, but... Kind of not hitting anyone. Here's Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. Uh, Ozzie Smith, Hall of Famer. Yeah, so. Not too much out of that first little stack. Steve Carlton, Hall of Famer. Let's see what else we can find in here. Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Famer. Um, Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. Bruce Suter, Hall of Famer. Unfortunately, he passed away just recently. Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. All right. Keep going. Another stack here. Randy. Pete Incavilia, Gold Cup card. Interesting. Dwight Evans. Um... Just re re real quick, record breaker. He hit the first pitch, I think was what happened here. Or, yeah, so he broke the record on the second pitch. <laughs> kind of a weird one. Never never could be broken, never can be broken, though, because, I mean, I, you know. It's the first pitch of the season. Like, it's impossible to break that record. I mean, it's. I'm guessing it's been done since. I'd imagine. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I'm not finding much in this stack here. A 
Randy. Trying things out there. Yeah, right. Not uh, it's, uh experiment hasn't panned out very well for me so far. As far as Barry Bonds is concerned, for sure. Um uh, have gotten some other decent cards. Um, but not in this box so far. Yeah, another Randy. It's like saying Randy, I don't know why. Oh man, we're seeing some of the same cards again. This isn't good. There's a Toy Evans again. Yeah, we're really striking out in this box. Still have five more of these to go. We'll do them at some point down the line. But hopefully they're better than this box. This is another Randy. This one has been pretty bad. So far. Rupert Jones. Yeah, getting a lot of the same repeat stuff. Bruce Souter again. Jim Rice again. Dave Parker. Some new stuff here. Daryl Strawberry. All right, maybe we've got something different happening here. Jack Clark. John Henry Johnson. It's a hell of a name there. There it is, Barry Bonds. It's a bit off center from top to bottom and left to right, unfortunately, but uh, we got it. Barry Bonds. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, that, that one's that one's yeah. That one's a bit uh, off center. That stinks. Which generally speaking, I've found that like you know, a lot of times you get like the same in, in these boxes, like you'll get the same run of cards multiple times, which is fine if we get another Barry Bonds. But I, what I've also noticed is they're very much cut the same. They must have just been from the same day where they were just cutting the sheets or whatever. So they lined up the same way. But hopefully that's not the case. If we find another Barry Bonds, hopefully. Um, shoot, I should have remembered what the card was in front of Barry Bonds. Maybe we'll get another one here because I got another strawberry. Frank Tanana, Kurt Young, Bill Alman, Tal McRae, Jack Clark. All right, we're seeing the same guys I remember seeing. But what was the card ahead of John Henry Johnson? Okay. Made a hell of a name. Storm Davis, Pete, Pete O'Brien, Bob Brown. Eh. Okay, so it's the Giant Leaders card. Is the is the tell sign uh, Pete O'Brien, uh, then Bob Brenly, Giant Leader uh, Barry Bonds. Okay, and again, but again, look what I said. You know, see, notice how it's like the kind of almost exactly the same cut off center there. See, I don't know. I mean, it's just an interesting thing. But okay, but that's funny though, because um, the Pete O'Brien. Um, Anyone that's been any anyone that's searched for uh hold on. Let me see if I have this right. Cause I feel like isn't isn't there a Peter O'Brien? It's Tony Gwynn. Uh that Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. That the Peter O'Brien card is like the it's that Don Manley where they have his name as year the year wrong. I've told this story before on the channel. Actually I, I saw it in um in a, um, it was an article on ESPN, but they, like, he jokingly said in, like, an interview one time that his, they had the, like, he, he was a year younger than they said he was or whatever, or something like that, and then they fixed, they updated his card, but it turned out that was actually wrong, he, he was, he was joking, <laughs> uh, and they, yeah, Rick, uh, Rick Sutcliffe, uh, Hall of Famer? No, is he? Yes, no, I forget. I don't think so. I always get him mixed up with, like, Bruce Suter and Burt Blylevin. I don't know why. But I don't think Rich, Rich Sutcliffe is a Hall of Famer. Maybe, yes, I don't know. Um, uh, What was I saying before? Yeah, the Peter O'Brien. Is it Peter O'Brien? That's going to bother me. I'm going to have to look it up. But I'm pretty sure Peter O'Brien in Topps, 
2019 Top Series 2, a Peter O'Brien's like the card of Fred of the Tatis. I think. I want to say that's right. I could be wrong. Um, something like that, though. But that's just kind of funny. I mean, he wasn't exactly in front of it, but, you know, two cards in front. There was a Giants uh, team leader card. All right, let's see what else we can find here. We do get two Barry Bonds. Unfortunately, you know, they're not exactly the greatest condition in terms of centering. But, um, you know, I mean, that just goes with the territory. That's just how these cards are from back then. And that's why if you get a, you know, good grade on some of these cards, they can be very valuable because they're hard to get uh, good centering and stuff. I mean, and condition. I mean, but these have been sitting in a box for, um, you know, 35 years. So, but, you know, it, it, you, you know, if you have a card that you pulled day one when it first came out and it's just been banging around, not, not in great condition and stuff like, you know, that, that sort of. Ted Simmons, all of them, um, kind of more along the lines. But, I mean, that's where you can get the gem mints out of these boxes in terms of conditioning. The problem is the centering with uh, these these sort of things. Because there's still plenty of these cards unopened, you know. Um, Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Pete Rose, not a Hall of Famer, but it's also a manager card. But whatever, still, Pete Rose. Phil Necro. Phil's a, Phil's a Hall of Famer, right? And Joe's not the Hall of Famer. I always get those guys, I always get them mixed up. I know one of them's a Hall of Famer and the other one's not a Hall of Famer. I think Joe, Joe isn't and Phil is. Pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, I'm going to look up that Peter O'Brien. Let's see. Is it Peter O'Brien? Oh, no. What did I just do? I didn't mean to do that. Peter O'Brien. Something O'Brien, I feel like. Baseball. American baseball player, Peter O'Brien. Yeah, Peter O'Brien. Let me look, see, 2019 tops. Oh, yeah, it's definitely that card. It's definitely the card I'm thinking of, which is kind of funny. I know you can't see what I'm looking at, but like just, just Google Peter O'Brien, uh, 2019 tops. You'll see the card I'm talking about. That's the card that's like right in front of the Tatis when you're sorting through with the collation. So just kind of funny that we saw Pete O'Brien right in front of the Barry Bonds. Um, I mean, wasn't right in front. There was a card in between, but still, still. So if you're ever going through 87, Mike Schmidt, Hall of Famer, of course, All Star card there. You're going through 87, Reggie Jackson, Hall of Famer, 87 uh, Tops or 2019 Series 2. Look for Peter, Peter O'Brien. You're going to find something good coming up right after it. Wade Boggs, um, Hall of Famer. Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. Fight a Blue, Hall of Famer, I think, pretty sure. I want to say he is. He may not be. I think he is, though. Ricky Anderson's definitely a Hall of Famer. Know that for sure. Eric Davis. Not a Hall of Famer, but he was a star. I'll throw him on down. There's that Jose Canseco I was talking about earlier. It's like... It's weird because, like, he was an 86 Donruss and Fleer, but then he was an 86 Tops update. But this is like his first main set Tops cards. Also got the Gold Cup, so it's always cool, too. Dave Schmidt, not Mike Schmidt. There's Nolan Ryan. Of course, he's a Hall of Famer. No doubt, Hall of Famer. Um,. Although, surprising fact about Nolan Ryan, when you look at look at all the things he did, you know, strike all the strikeouts, no hitters and stuff. He never won a Cy Young. I believe. I, I believe that's correct. Um, 
I, unless I'm making that up, but I'm pretty sure. Um, if uh, I'm pretty sure he never won a Cy Young, which is crazy. I mean, he was on some bad teams. Let's let's be honest. Some of those Rangers or you know Astros teams and stuff um, were pretty bad. So he didn't have the wins necessarily, and you know he was one of those guys that just go out and pitch. Just, you know, he just pitch like you know. So it's like, you know, his win-loss records weren't very good, um, you know, and his ERA was never amazing other than 81, apparently. Uh, you know, it's good. You know, he's always good, but he never put up those crazy numbers that a lot of guys did to get the Cy Youngs. I mean, he always had the strikeout numbers for sure and the innings pitched and stuff, but he walked a lot of guys too. That's the thing. He just pitched a lot. That was the thing. Um but, I mean, the no-hitters are just crazy when you think about it. Um, but there we go. We got a couple Barry Bonds's. Uh, can't complain uh, too much. I mean, I would have liked them to be more centered than they are. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. At least we got them. Um, some other, A bunch of other Hall of Famers and stars and stuff. So, cool stuff. Uh, we finally did it. We got the Barry Bonds. But um, we got some more of these boxes to go. Um, so, keep tuning to tuning in to free for all Fridays and we'll keep doing them. Uh, keep looking out for maybe a better centered Barry Bonds, uh, along among the other cards we're looking for as well. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching. Uh, stay safe, have fun. Uh, come back next week for another free for all Friday. Come back every day for videos, sometimes multiple in a day. Like today, earlier on, I did some mystery Friday. So go check that out if you missed it, but just hit that subscribe button at the notification bell. You get a little notification every time a video is up and ready. Watch, come over, watch it, like it, share comment on it, all that fun stuff. Just having fun here in the channel, opening up cards, looking through cards, uh, talking about cards, old school cards, and all sorts of goodness. So thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe. Have fun. Talk to you next time. Bye.